you must have noticed various datasets having some of the options among many other datasets. Now, based on multiple criteria, a classical hierarchy template won't do. That's where a multi-level hierarchy comes in. You can create it, modify it, and it will update your data automatically. Hello there, this is Farihat Tulmim from Excel Demi, your one stop for Excel blog posts, discussion forum, templates, and VBA related answers. Here is a data set with six movie names. All of them aren't shown throughout all the five time schedules. Also, based on the time slots, there are specific availability of C types as well. Using this data set, we will learn how to create a multi-level hierarchy in Excel. We will discuss two methods to make it using Excel 365. You can use any other available Excel versions as well. Let's get down to the video. Our first method is to use the data validation tool. In the movie name column, we need to create a drop down list so that we can choose any movie we like. It's quite straightforward to do. Let's follow along. Click cell B5. Now go to data tab. From the data tools group, click on data validation. Now from the data validation window, we can see there is a lot drop down. Here we can see that data validation can be quite featureful. We can use whole number, decimal, date, time, etc. We have a list of movie names. So let's go along with list. Our source will be equals, go to movies worksheet and choose B5 to B10 where our movie names are. Okay, now we can see here are all the six movies. Let's select into the deep. To paste the data validation manually, we can copy cell B5 using control C. Now select B6 to B10 and from the home tab under the clipboard group, click on paste drop down, choose paste special. Here from the paste section, click on validation. Okay. Now we can see that all the cells are added with drop down menu. Let's choose each of them for individual cells. Now we need to create a drop down list based on the selection on the movie name column. For example, Let's go to our movies worksheet. We can see that movie into the deep is available in five schedules, but bullet train is available for three schedules only. So the option that will be available in the show schedule column depends on the movie selected in the movie name column. To do this, we're going to use a formula with the offset and match function. First, select cell C5 to C10. Now go to data tab, data tools group to data validation. Allow drop down, choose list, and for source, let's try a formula starting from offset, opening parenthesis. Now go to movies worksheet, select B5, comma. Now let's type match for match function, opening parenthesis. Now return to data validation worksheet, choose B5. Now use F4 twice to make it column absolute only, comma. Now go to movies worksheet again and select B5 to B10. It has to be constant like it is already, comma, zero to be exact match, closing parenthesis, minus one, so that the match value gets the row number, say one for the first cell and subtracting one from it will allow the argument to work on the very same row, comma, one for column reference since our column won't be changing for each movie name schedules comma one for height which is one row of data comma five for width which is five columns of data within that one row closing parenthesis okay as a result we can see a drop down arrow is visible in each of the cells from c5 to c10 so you will now see the show schedules available. Let's select this one. Now, since we added data validation for all the cells in the beginning, all of these fall under the criteria as well. Let's choose values for each of them. Now we need to create another dropdown list in the C type column based on our selection of the show schedule. In this data set, we can see that all the show schedule don't have the same C types. Now let's select D5 to D10. 
and from the data tab under data tools group select data validation from the log drop down list and as source we will try a formula which is somewhat same to the previous one now we have copied it from the article that has been linked within the description box below all the arguments are pretty much same only here the height is 3 since our c types are arranged in three rows within one column let's go along with ok now we can see each of them are added according to our availability let's insert values like that so we can see that here is a multi-level hierarchy that works according to the criteria we have set our next method is to use power pivot to create multi-level hierarchy now we have added this data set from the result we have got in data validation previously discussed to use power pivot you need to enable the power pivot tab first if you don't have it right click on the ribbon click on customize the ribbon and from the excel options dialog box make sure to check mark this box if it's not there okay and you should have your power pivot tab now select the data set b4 to d10 and click on the add to data model you will find it under the tables group now we get a warning to create table if you format your data set into a table previously you will not have this warning so we can see our range is selected and my table has headers so let's go along with ok and we can see a power pivot for excel window already generated here and our data set is imported here successfully now from the home tab under the view group click on diagram view and we can see three of our table headers here now from the top right corner of this section click on create hierarchy it will enable hierarchy one for you now click on them to drag it within hierarchy one from the home tab click on pivot table let's drag it here now you can create this pivot table in a new worksheet or you can work within the existing worksheet let's go along with existing worksheet and our reference will be starting from f4 okay let's go along with okay now we can see our pivot table here and the pivot table fields here click on the arrow beside table one check mark hierarchy one and we can see the movie names to get more elaborate options click on more fields choose show schedule or c type and you can see each of them as you wish let's deselect them now we can see that you can expand these sections click on the plus and you can see the values of time schedule added within the data set let's close the field section now we can say that from these two methods you can use any of them according to your convenience you can practice this with the help of excel file in the description box below let us know if you were able to do it in the comment section share your suggestions and feedback as well you can visit our website exceldemy.com and reach out to our forum for all your VBA or Excel related problems free of cost. Stay tuned by subscribing to the channel and clicking on the bell icon. Thanks for watching.